Hey guys, it's Iron Gone, and we're back on Sand River. Um, what we're doing today is I'm going to be trying out a new type of video. Um, I'm not sure of the name yet. Probably something like Double Trouble. Um, basically, I'm going to be showcasing two different replays uh, today. One is going to be very familiar. I'm going to be going over this again. I was a little rushed last time. This is basically the best spot in any map to get your spotting experience. Now you have to have assault turned on for this. We are attacking. The enemy is defending. You want to have binoculars and a camo net and get yourself right in this position. And that is how you win the game. In this one it's going to be a little bit different. I will be moving positions at one point. Um, but basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to showcase two different videos. One is going to be this and the other one is going to be a heavy tank replay that I've done. Uh, but first let's focus in on this one and see what kind of trouble we can get into. So, we spotted quite a few targets here. You can see my sight range in the minimap. I can see pretty much anything that wants to come over those ridge lines. And the, uh, my allies are putting fire down quite well. Um, Hugo is in his ISU 152. And he is putting shells out. Me, I am just hoping to get my mission 15 complete. And for that, I need over 4,000 spotting. I did this once before, but I was on an earlier mission. Now I want to get my... Uh, female crew member for the first set of light tank missions. Um, at this point I'm very confident in my ability to get the damage out. I'm not keeping track, uh, but I'm noticing that to our right, I'm just going to free the camera here, we've got an AMX 5100, an M103, and a Panther 2, and they're pretty being pretty aggressive, uh, and I'm worried that they're going to basically take over the spotting role. And I'm going to lose out on precious spawning experience. Um, if your team is too aggressive or not aggressive enough, you will find that this you won't get as much. Um, you really have to rely on your team to take advantage of the situation. And at the same time, if they push too hard, they're going to start taking the spotting. Um, like as they come up around this corner, I don't think I'm getting spotting on any of those targets that are over there anymore. Um, and I'm starting to get a little worried. You can see my turret turning back and forth. At this point, I'm like, I don't think I'm going to do it. There's a WZ-132 to my left on our team. I feel a spotting that side of the map. It's just, it's not going super well for me. Um, Hugo has moved up. So I moved to this location. I want to try to spot more targets that will be my targets. So, I'm over here now, and I'm really out in the open. From the right, I could be spotted. I do have six cents, though, and I've noticed that I'm not. So, nobody's in a position to see me from here. My camo net's active, so they have to get pretty close to see me anyway. I'm trying to get in the shoot at that guy, because I know I spotted him. And, uh, things basically are progressing extremely well for our team because of all the spotting going on. And, um, Indian Panzer kills... Hugo. I'm debating taking shots. I want to try to get some experience from this game, but I'm like, I gotta try it. I've been trying to get this map all night so I could guarantee my great spotting game. Um, I had already come close several times this night on other maps, but never quite gotten it. And uh, I know there's a T69 in H2. I'm worried about him spotting me. It's gonna speed it up a little bit here. We're winning 5-2 right now. It's pretty good. Here comes that T-69. I haven't noticed him yet. And now that I have, I should know I'm spotted already. Come in too late. Dodge a shot. Take a shot. Take a huge shot from the Object 704. 16 health left. I have to choose my engine or my tracks. I was afraid I was going to take another shot, so I had to get my tracks so I could pull back a little bit. Might have just gone for the engine. I don't think I was going to take another shot. I was off the radar. Now my tank's basically crippled, which is fine. I mean, all I'm doing is, is statically, I'm just passively spotting, but um, I won't be able to dodge if anything, anything bad happens. And the Object 704 on my team is taking shots from the enemy. Our allies are rushing. Things are pretty much over and done with. At this point, I'm like, I, I don't think I've got it. I, I think I'm screwed. I debate taking a shot. But I don't want to hit the panther. I have a shot. I just don't want to die. So I don't fire... I don't think I fire a single shot this game.
which some would argue is not the best. It's not a making 100% use of yourself. I should have been backing up and using the bushes, firing through the bushes to get damage done. But two targets left. Do I take a shot? I consider it, but I don't know if I actually get a shot off on him. I go. I was going to go for the side there, but no, didn't get a shot. So, speeding right along. The game is pretty much over at this point. And there goes the last target. So, that's that. How did we do, though? Well, let's take a quick look. Okay. So, here we are. My old winter wallpaper. Um, so, we got Sp Scout. Fantastic. I'm using uh, World of Tanks Replay Analyzer. Um to check my stuff out rather than uploading them uh these these up uploads I, I think uploading every single one of my replays might be just a little bit annoying to show you the stats so uh and i see some promising numbers here but did we get enough let's go to our details here let's see here hmm where is our spotting oh assisted damage right here spotted 4207 yes i did make the mission with honors, and I got my crew member. Uh, I also got 715 base experience, and I made a 27,000 profit. Um, and uh, my one times recruit program modifier, which is because I believe Hugo died too low on my team to get the bonus as far as, oh, maybe not. Maybe he's already got enough. I'm not sure. Either way, great game, and... Um, Mission's done, so what do I do now? Now what I do is I switch over to a heavy tank. So let's take a look at another replay. Okay, guys, here we are on Ensk in my STI. Now, as you can see, I have an abysmal win rate with the STI. Why is that? That is my first tank that I've gotten to Tier 9 quite some time ago now and didn't play for a long time. Because when I did, I was playing it as stock. And those of you with keen eyes may note that I'm actually using the second gun, not the best gun. So, how can I make a difference not as uh, a fully, in fact, mostly stock STI, aside from the turret, on Ensk? Well, um, I'm a little rusty here. I'm trying to going to try to go for my mission 15 on heavy tanks. I'm in a bad spot, and I take a shot for it. The reasoning being... That I am exposing my lower plate. See, two shots so far in there. So, this is a much better position. From this spot, I am uh, half speed here. A tank drives out, they're going to see m either my tracks or a fairly well angled front. If they fire too early, all they have is my turret. They're not going to have a lot of flat surfaces. Now, I am going to take some more shots, but there's a bounce there. I'm, I'm going to take a beating here, but... Um, and I'm going to spoil the surprise here. This is a pretty quick game. I'm not going to get my mission complete. That mission is to take uh, like take damage, uh, bounce damage, and do damage, all totaling together 8,000. So that guy tried to flank around me, and that's where most of my damage came in from there. I believe he put a couple into me from the side. Um... Oh, I've one penetration on the top. That is a weak point, but not too, too weak. Um, put another one into the... Well, I put one into the T-54. Now here, I do... Kind of angle myself, my turret back and forth to try to get them to uh, both bounce. Wiggling there. I turn my body a bit to keep the corner pointed towards. I'm not the best angler, but in that case, it really paid off. And what's happening is they're so focused on me that they're taking fire from the field. T-54, AMX-30, both very strong tanks. I got another AMX-30 behind me in town. I got Hugo and his ISU-152. And this is where I'm going to start derping some shots. Um, the majority of my contribution was on that corner, crushing those four tanks by basically saying, no, you can't get past me. And... Uh, doing 1500 damage which isn't amazing at tier 9 um, but as we can see I've also bounced a fair amount and I took a fair amount so I let my allies guns work for me and as this has been a while since I was 
really in, well, since I was in a high tier heavy tank doing playing seriously, um, I'm just picking it up again. So make sure that you know where your tank is weak, weak to fire. Um, that's number one. On something, especially on something that has the potential to block a lot. I know on this tank that my turret is my strongest feature and that the lower plate is flat um, and that from a distance is very weak. And from up close, my upper plate loses its benefits from its sloping. Stuff like that. I know that if I get myself in a position where my hull is protected from fire and all they can see is my turret, that I will live a lot longer and bounce a lot more shots. And I've had very many successful games. Not amazing games where I carried the team. I By no means did I carry the team here. But I felt that I con contributed um, to my team winning that side of the map. So for a moderately skilled player, um, I'm yellow now. I'm in the high 800s. Go moving... I'm almost 900... Um, I'm moving up slowly, and Hugo, who's played much less than me, is also coming up on that. As two mid-tier players, uh, I feel that we can do, we can hold our own at this tier. So what I'm going to do, guys, that's, this is double trouble. We're going to take a look at some statistics, and then we're going to go from there. So let's see what we did. Okay, so four penetrating hits, uh, and five spotted. Survived. And we got ourselves a shell proof and a fire for effect. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. But let's see the details here. So, 13,000 uh, credit profit. Not too bad. Base experience, 877. That was doubled. Uh, let's see here. So, we dealt 1,972 damage. We assisted with 491. Not surprising that it wasn't that much. Potential damage received was 4,700 and 30 and our damage taken was 1340 so I need to get 8,000 right so if we pop those together mm, we're like six we are honestly I'm surprised I didn't get that I really am I'm not sure if this is just miscalculated here but potential damage uh, let's see so yeah five six six seventy Yeah, huh. Well, either way, guys, the point is use your tank well. Whether you're a light tank, spot. Th these missions try to teach you how to play, and doing the missions, I feel like I've become a better player. Learn how to use the tank for the role you're in, and learn which maps make sense. I'm going to be showcasing a few more light and heavy tanks in future episodes with different roles. I want to show you a light tank that can't passive spot. You can't always passive spot. Like There's certain maps where you just cannot do it. Or you can't do it effectively. And in the case of the um, AMX line that I'm in, the 1375, the 1390, eventually going up to the Bat Chat, you really need to start using your fast turret traverse, your relatively good speed and maneuverability, and your solid burst damage to do damage to the enemies and on the other hand you need to be using your heavy tank occasionally you can't face hug you need to sit back and do some side scraping and have some long range brawls with uh with other tanks so i'm going to be showing those in a future episode as uh, as they come to me i will put them out this is going to be double trouble what i'm going to be doing with this series is i'm going to be highlighting um two different tanks probably per match or per episode uh, sometimes contrasting, and sometimes I'm going to have them support each other. Um, in addition, I will probably have standalone um, episodes of, I'm not sure what the name will be, for my really good games or for replays of the week that I really like. And if you guys have a really good game that you want me to see, I would really love to feature it on my channel. So feel free to send that to me. I will go through it. I will commentate, I'll commentate on it, and we'll go from there. And uh, as always, guys, I'm Iron Gone, and you guys take care.